welcome back to the channel. On this video, I have my buddy Keith back with us again. How are you doing today, uh, Keith? Doing pretty good. Ready and, for another ride. Yeah, and this time around, we're going to do some off-road trail riding. And Keith's going to lead the way. And Nothing he's, too crazy, but... No, he's going to take us on a little bit of off-road paths, trails, and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right. Turn my power on here. All right. And Keith is riding the Grizzly again. It's kind of becoming his bike. Is it? Wink, wink. <laughs> and I'm on the Lear Graffiti. You gotta remember that kickstand, geez. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I did that one time. I've only done it, I think, once. But once was enough. Uh, you can ask my wife. It takes me a few times to learn. <laughs> well, at least you've got the... Uh, Taking the corners uh, with the Grizzly down. It took a few times, but you got it. Yeah, I saw that one. You don't want to go too fast, you 
do that. <laughs> Let's go up this way. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, that one has a bit of a drop off there. Yeah, the roots of that. Good thing you're not going too fast with it. You better take it easy a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you don't know what you're gonna a lot more people run into. You. Yeah, that's true. Tell you what, this thing goes over the bumps like it's nothing. Yeah. Yeah, that bike I'd say is more for off road. Yeah. And I think the new uh, Graffiti X is probably going to be a better. So definitely trust these tires a lot better on the off. Definitely those tires. Yep. Yeah. These ones here, I'm not so. I would be careful with those. Trusting on these, yeah. Yeah, those E Huntsman are built for this. Yeah. Those are uh, pretty rugged looking tires. pretty long you okay yep That, oh, that bike is not light. I'll let you go and I'll turn around. Okay, you sure you got it? Yep. Okay. Yeah, this bike's lighter than that one. All right. Yeah, you got to kind of throw it around a little bit. I got like thorns by something. Yep. There's, I got a little scratch on my arm. I could feel it going by there just now. It's pretty narrow. Yeah, watch out. They got thorns on Yep. Well, this one here, uh, yeah, it ends right there. Okay. <clears throat> you okay? Yeah, all good here. Okay, let's go this way. Yeah, these are a little bit more rougher trails right here. Yeah, they're pretty narrow and they've got uh, roots sticking out quite a bit, right? Yeah. Sometimes, and then those pipes. So the grizzly's going right over them, like no problem. Yeah, with the stock tires that were on that, you wouldn't be as uh, safe because those tires were pretty thin. But yeah. yep, that's where I think the uh, Graffiti X would probably uh, be pretty cool for this because it would have full suspension and also uh, better tires. Yeah, we're definitely going to bring that up. Yeah. Well, one advantage that that bike there has, the Grizzly, is a lot of people complain about the handlebars, but being narrow for this kind of stuff is pretty good, actually. It keeps them in tight. Yeah, especially for this. This bike here handles really nice for this, but it doesn't have full suspension and the tires aren't the uh, greatest for this. So I'm hoping just don't get a flat tire, you know. <clears throat> but the bike itself actually handles pretty good. It's light, it maneuvers pretty well, actually.
Yep. One of these times we gotta get the drone going. Get some awesome views of that. Look at that grizzly, wow. Yeah. I had my finger on the trigger as they say. I think this comes out of that dog uh, yeah. park. Definitely a better trail than the other one. Yep. Yeah, I think the Grizzly is definitely built for that kind of stuff. You can do just about it all with that, right? Yep. On road, off road, whatever you need. I actually think this bike too, if it had the full suspension, because I think you really need full suspension in that kind of situation and then Oh yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, that lyric actually would be great. Would you rather have a bike rack or a little trailer? You probably have a bike rack would be better because where do you park the trailer? Yeah. At least the bike rack can just go in the garage. I, I don't think have room for a trailer. Probably some good riding out at the gorge, don't you think, out there? Oh, there's lots of they're building like new trails out there. Nice. And they got a really long paved trail that's it goes right along some eighty four and Oh yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, e-bikes are great out there because they get, there's some really steep hills. You might really enjoy the view and still be in but, but for a good bike rack, for a two two bike rack, I think they're about 500 bucks. Yeah. They're not cheap. Oh yeah. Sure. If you want a good one, you could get probably a $250 one, but it's probably not going to be... Yeah, I would definitely not go cheap. 
Yeah, it'll last you forever. So. Oh yeah. I think another good place would be down the coast, do you think? But that's a bit of a drive. They're all a bit of a drive to get there, but... Oh, yeah. You gotta just find a place. Yeah, this bike is not too bad once you get used to it. I would you like this. Yeah, it's, it's more pedal-friendly than this one. I mean, you need to get a workout. If you had that seat up another, what, three inches, four inches? Yeah, it would really help out. I wonder if there's some kind of riser that you could put. For me, it's a good height, but I can see where pedaling you want to be a little higher for pedal though. Yeah. Especially for your height. This is one way to test your uh, the agility of the bike, right? That's a steep hill. Yeah. Ah, oh, the regen braking is really nice. Yeah, that regen braking is the best. I love that. I hardly ever have to touch the brakes. Unless I need to make an abrupt stop really quick stop that's gonna be a, uh, a, uh, a graffiti versus a grizzly uh, deal breaker attack so when you get the full suspension on that with the lyric x oh boy i know yeah that's gonna be the deal breakers having that on there 
Yeah, that, uh, the way they're uh, coming along with that bike, it's getting better and better looking, you know, what they're doing to it. Oh, yeah. But this is a lot of fun. Lot of they fun. are. You need, you really need a rugged bike like that. For, yeah. You probably like to do a little bit of, I think Sierra would be more uh, these kind of paths, right? Yeah, she won't do this. Still want to ride the Rad Rover, just, yeah, on the path like this. Yeah. Yeah, you'd have to be in assist one. You can't, you can't not have an assist level on that. Too heavy. Yeah. Did you try it? Uh, I have. On zero, it's too heavy. Yeah. It's about 110 pounds with those tires. Oh, yeah, you gotta get a good workout. With the stock tires, it was about 105, but those tires are definitely heavier. It's on zero right now. Oh, you, if your battery died and you had no choice, I guess you could pedal, but up a hill would be a, a real struggle. Oh, yeah, you'd rather walk. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you could do it. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I know. Especially with both motors on, right? Yeah, you can, when you put both on, you can really feel it. Yeah, you can test the agility of your bike back there when we had the uh, turns. Okay. You know when we were going side to side, left, right, left, right. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty fun. Yeah. These things do pretty good. You just got to be careful that there's nobody coming. That's the only thing, right? See, that's where you want power as opposed to speed. Right. Well, I mean, I guess you want both, but. Yeah, on that bike, pedal assist level one is pretty good, isn't it? Okay. That's probably all you need. Right? Yeah, one is good for, especially in here when I've ridden uh, on one, but the uh, rad is number three in here, is good. Or two, heck, even one, I guess. Yeah, two or three will probably just ride my little assistance. Even right now, I'm pedaling. If I need a little assistance, I just give it a little bit more throttle. The way I look at that bike, though, or any of these bikes, I always want to use at least something, whether it's a SIS level one or whatever, because that's why you have the bike, really. I mean, it's good for hill climbing, too, but I think once you had it, you don't get as tired, you know? Yeah. You can go farther that's with the help. <clears throat> The one that we stopped at in the past yeah. and looked at your arm? Yeah. Alright. Hey, Hilda, go up or down? I need a mask. You're kicking up dust. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it was that though, but we'll just come back out over here.
Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's okay. We're gonna. I'm trying to figure out which, which way we're gonna go. Okay. I gotta get over this curve anyway. <laughs> Might need a little push. That's alright. Take a run at it. You did it? Alright, you guys go first. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, you gotta go. Uh oh. oh. Rock hit my uh, metal fender. Alright. Hang on a second. Yeah. Oh. Have a good one. Oh, you too. Something in your tire there. That's some crap. Yeah. Oh. You think we could beat her in a race? I don't know. We'll yeah, I think we could beat her. I don't know if they do they go 30 miles an hour even? I'm not sure. 25? The gas one's probably good, but that's probably all right. We're following her. Yeah. <laughs> She's probably thinking, what the heck? And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.